Hi folks, Slick Slices here. Um, I've got another knife in my high-end knife series. This one here is another Turbikov, which again is a, a Russian make of knives, um, often compared with Shirogorov's, uh, somewhat cheaper than a Shirogorov, but still very, very good quality knives. And this one particularly so. Uh, I actually, this is of the three that we've seen so far, this one is probably uh, the one that has the best quality feel about it but it's probably not my favorite because of the ergonomics don't favor my uh, clumsy grotty hands i think if you have slightly more delicate uh, thing or dexterous rather than delicate fingers then you might like this knife quite a lot it's it pulls up on a very impressive trick of a, of feeling looking like a, a really quite a small knife but actually having a remarkably um large presence really when it comes down to it uh to look at it's quite slim and understated this is plain um sort of bead bars blasted titanium finish which um yeah it's very nice uh, it's got very faint little marks in them but they do tend to it's kind of a like a bead blast or a bead blast over a stone wash or something like that because the sort of marks that are there are kind of carried by the texture so you don't really you know it doesn't show as worn it just shows us really quite nice um so as i said with plain titanium uh, scales and i'll turn it over and show there's no um frame lock on this because it's a liner lock so we'll come to the lock in a minute but it does have that nice symmetry the symmetry is only perhaps if you like uh, spoilt by the addition of the pocket clip which is a uh, milled titanium pocket clip relatively fine now i haven't obviously carried this knife because these iron knives are not mine they're on loan to me so i haven't really i haven't carried it at all um i've just sort of sat and fiddled with it at the desk so i'm really showing it rather than uh, telling you what it's capable of because uh, i really couldn't tell you but it's you know it's certainly a nice looking knife it's got a lovely sort of slim profile the blade tucks in quite well you have a solid uh, titanium uh, backspacer um, and you've a relatively small and again unobtrusive uh, flipper tab um, the i presume it's uh, not a free spinning pivot or if it is it, it could turn into a nightmare because uh, this side of the pivot is completely um, untooled and uh, recessed um, so that again of course i haven't taken it to bits uh, but one would have to eventually because if you were using it because it's uh it's running on uh, ball bearings um, this side is i think that's a t8 and t6 screws for the handle now they are tooled on both sides so um i'm not quite sure whether they're uh, exactly how they they work but you can get to both sides so it doesn't really matter now this is where i this is where i struggle with this knife a little bit and i i think this is well i know this is me it's not the knife um i've got to be fair to it i can get it to flip but what i tend to do is i tend to put my middle finger tends to wrap around the blade and it's difficult for me to hold it off the blade and that makes it somewhat more difficult to flip than it should be however there we are it worked i was slightly worried it wasn't going to um wasn't going to to go there now this is where this knife is um striking now i suspect it's a you'll love it or you'll loathe it look to it the sort of trailing point um i don't know why we have to name all these blades and tell you what type they are we could call it a reverse tanto we could call it a modified sheep's foot lamb's foot probably because it's getting thinner as you get towards the end um but it's got a curved blade rather than a curved edge rather than a straight edge um but it, i think it's quite elegant and, and sweeping and it makes a, 
a sort of serpentine pattern with the handle. I think also what I, what I like about it is that you have, it's a high saber grind um, knife, but you have this sort of uh, reflection of the uh, flat coming down to the bevel in the flat, going down to a, a bevel on the handle there, which I think can, makes it flow particularly well. I quite like the way that um, the angles kind of round here look quite sweeping and and uh, and and smart. Um, if there's a downside, which I think is a little bit iffy, it's the sharpening choil works perfectly well with the sharpening choil, but I dare you to put your finger in front of um, well, in front of the flipper here, because this point of the blade sticks very definitely into the choil. Um, and it is actually a very sharp blade. So if you're using it there, that point, that edge of the um, uh, bottom of the blade there is going into your finger. So it means that you're effectively uh, restricted to holding the knife back here. Now that works fine. There's plenty of the handle. It's longer than you'd think. It's slim. But I think the thing that surprised me about this is when I was sort of looking at it in on its own, I was thinking it's not a big knife like the Shiragara F95 that we saw a few weeks ago. This is what I would have thought is, is, is you know, a smaller size knife. And I was I would have compared it therefore to the Sebenza small Sebenza 31 but when you actually look at it I think it's actually quite a bit longer than the um, Sebenza small Sebenza and if you compare it to the large Sebenza you get them kind of lined up it's almost as long as the large Sebenza um, this is a 90 millimeter blade the Rockstead Higo um, which uh, occasionally I pull out as a 91 millimeter blade. There's only one millimeter in it. This looks uh, smaller because it's much, much thinner. Um, now, let's move that out of the way. It's a relatively thick stock. I mean, it's probably three millimeters or thereby. Um, 3.2 millimeters according to the the stats are 90 millimeters long just while i'm going through the stats it weighs 113 grams which is uh, you know perfectly reasonable weight and it's 205 millimeters or um, just a fraction of eight inches um long in total so it's a, it's a bigger knife and probably a more capable knife than it perhaps looks and in some ways feels but you've got plenty of cutting edge of this nice a gentle sweep to it, a very sticky point on it. Um, I wouldn't suggest it's 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 a, a tactical knife in any way because it's uh, there's nothing to stop your hand sliding forward onto the onto the blade. There's no guard or anything like that. But as an everyday carry knife, actually, I think it would make a very very comfortable uh, knife in pocket in terms of its practicality and use as well. Um, we've got the little Cherbikov sign on there, but when we turn it over, the only other writing on it at all, let's see if I can get it to show you. Yeah, it's probably readable there, M390. So M390, which is um, analogous with 20CV, is sort of fast becoming the or has become the standard amongst quality knives my suspicion is it's going to be um pushed off by magna cut and no doubt magna cut will be pushed off by something else in in another year or two but at the moment this is the kind of standard of of um quality steels on knives so I think this is a particularly nice knife. Of course, Cherbikov is Russian. I should I should have said that. Um, kind of, one sort of starts to assume that you've got a degree of knowledge. But uh, Cherbikov is not a common make. 
and when you come across one i uh, i can imagine there'll be a few people uh, just putting the word into their search engines and having a look and if you you may well come ac across one of these knives and although i've already reviewed a couple and i'm probably going to review another maybe as many as another 10 over the next year or so um these these might well come up as a, a first option in your uh, searches and if it does i suppose you you probably need to know that they say it's a russian uh, manufacturer um so far i don't think there's been any negative impact in the U over the ukraine business who knows where that will go in the longer term and oh and i did mention it's a line lock but it's uh, not just a, a you know one of these very fine liner locks it's got a good solid and i believe that's titanium um lock bar in there uh with a good solid lock it's it's yeah you know, it's reasonably early but it's absolutely solid maybe about um 30% oh and the other thing i never told you also it has the date it was made which is 2021 just on the uh, flipper tab there. Um, Jimping, like the other Cherbikovs, the Jimping is um, reasonably um, productive, but it's quite uh, relatively harsh at the sides here. It doesn't have the ch chamfering that um, Shirogorov does. And I noticed, I was going on about it with the Shirogorovs the other day, and it was only when I was carrying my own one of my own Sabenzas but I realised that uh, um, Chris Reeves does a good job of chamfering the edges of those as well, so that you get the um, the grip, the traction that you might need without the harsh, sharp edges. Uh, it's the sort of detail that um, Cherbikov doesn't quite do as well, um, but it's hard to find, you know, it, it, it's a very picky man that finds fault with this particular one i think compared to the scout this one which if i didn't mention it's called the cobra did i mention that at the beginning and uh, as i say this is the called the cobra i think this is a, a more refined um an attractive knife so i think that's probably all i have to say about this one at the moment except to say very nice knife um i like it and if i could legally carry it i think i'd be quite happy to carry one of these daily it would um uh, it's perhaps a little thick for my apple chopping but um it's uh, uh it, it would do the job quite well and it would be a, an elegant knife to carry so thank you very much if you like the stuff remember to give it a thumbs up and if you want to see uh, more of these and uh there's uh, certainly going to be at least two more and hopefully in the new year there'll be quite a few more um, of these knives um, remember to subscribe and ring the bell and as this is probably I think coming up on the Wednesday after Christmas hope you had a great Christmas and I wish you a happy and prosperous new year thank you very much bye